We want apps made with Glide to be safe and secure. We automatically secure many aspects of your app, but you as the app creator will always be an important decision maker for essential security questions. In this video, we're gonna discuss six important cornerstones of security in Glide. Data, publishing and sign-in, row owners, role-based security, protected columns, and user-specific columns. For a comprehensive look at security in Glide though, check out glideapps.com security. Glide has many different data sources you can choose from, as well as two native data sources, tables and big tables. When syncing with an external data source, Glide can only read data after you authorize your account and give permissions. Glide will then only be able to read data sources that you specifically select. For example, in Google Sheets, Glide can only interact with the specific sheets you select. In Airtable, Glide could only interact with the base that you share. And in BigQuery, Glide will only read the data that you actually query. If you want someone to be a user of your app, then you can just add them to your users table. If, however, you want to collaborate with someone to build apps, then you can add them to your Glide team. Note, however, that anyone that you add to your team in Glide will be able to see all of your app's data. This is because they'll have access to the back end of all of your apps, where the data editor is viewable. So make sure that you're comfortable with anyone who is in your team having access to all of the data that you've pulled into your projects. No matter which data source you use, it's important to back up your data when creating business apps. Depending on your tech stack, there are several ways to do this. One simple way we recommend is by using Glide's Generate CSV integration to periodically run an action that will export your app's data. You can also right click on any table in the data editor and export as a CSV file. By default, all new apps are in draft mode. Before you publish, make sure you visit the privacy menu in your app settings so you can specify who will be able to access the app. You can set different settings here. For example, you could have your app set to private where only members of your Glide team will be able to sign in and see it. You could choose to make your app totally public so that anyone with the link can view it. Or you can do something else like available only to users in your users table or available to users only in your email domain or anyone with an email address in another table that you choose. Anyone who can sign into your app can see the data that it downloads, either in your app's user interface or by inspecting network traffic. This means that if you hide certain items through the use of filters, the hidden data is still technically accessible. If you wanna truly protect certain rows and make them accessible only by certain users, then you should use row owners. Row owners lets you restrict who can download data based on the email address that they've signed in with. If a table has row owners enabled, then users can only download rows that they own. Glide will prevent that user from downloading any other rows, so the data can't be read by inspecting network traffic or by any other means. You can also assign roles to your users in the app settings menu. This allows you to define roles with different permission levels, such as admin or manager or group A or group B. You can then assign these roles to different users and use that to create row owners. This is a streamlined way to create different security and access levels for different users across your organization. Even if you don't use all of your table's data on a particular screen, that data is still downloadable if it lives in an unprotected column. Columns hidden by visibility conditions are not secure either. Instead, you should make columns that contain sensitive data protected. When a column is protected, none of the data in that column can be downloaded. In the data editor, the column's content will be hidden and can't be processed in any way by your app. Protected columns can be written to though. So if you're collecting data from users in a form or a collection, then they can still submit data to that protected column, but once they've submitted it, that data will no longer be accessible by Glide. If you have entire tables that aren't accessed by your app, then there's no need to protect them. Your app can only access the tables that it currently uses. User-specific columns allow cells to hold unique data for each user, so that each user can experience their own data on a particular screen, like a personal rating or personal notes. 
Because each of these cells in a user-specific column can potentially have thousands of different values, user-specific columns live only in the data editor. They won't sync to external data sources like Microsoft Excel. If your app uses user-specific columns, then only the current user's data will be downloaded for that user. In this way, user-specific columns are automatically secure. So that's a look at some of the primary ways of managing security in Glide. But to find the latest information on making your app safe and secure, you can head over to glideapps.com security.